Hello everyone and welcome back to our video tutorial series for Kingdom Hearts 1. In this video, we cover the one-on-one -on -one fight against Hercules in the title match of the Hercules Cup. The Hercules Cup becomes available after completing the story episodes in Halloween Town and Neverland. You may want to attempt this cup before continuing on to the next world. After upcoming story events, all enemy stats will increase across the board. It's recommended to have the party be at least level 30 before attempting this match, though you may find it easier around level 35. Equip a high strength keychain like Fairy Harp or Pumpkin Head, or you can boost your MP by equipping Spellbinder. Equip accessories to Sora that prioritize MP and defense, like White Fang and Ray of Light. Equip the Guard and Leaf Bracer abilities if you have them. Add Arrow and Cure Magic to your shortcuts menu, and try to reach the title match with as many ethers or elixirs as Sora can carry. Do your best to conserve your MP until this match as well. Hercules starts the fight with a golden aura around him, and while this aura is active, he won't take any damage. You'll need to lift and throw the provided barrels at Herc in order to remove the aura first. Once the aura is removed, dodge Herc's punches by moving to his sides, then follow up with a 4-hit combo. After dealing your combo finisher, it's best to keep your distance. Herc will typically counter by leaping and creating a small tremor, or by moving toward you and throwing a punch. After taking enough damage, Herc's aura returns and you'll need to throw another barrel at him. Before you pick up another barrel, wait until you see Herc walking slowly to the side. He'll often stop and say, Hey, give up yet? This is the perfect time to throw a barrel. If Herc destroys all the remaining barrels, another group of them will appear after he finishes attacking and starts to slowly sidestep again. Some barrel throws can daze Herc for a short time too. Use these moments to heal or cast arrow if needed, then close in and deal a combo. Herc has a few attacks that cover a wide area that you'll need to look out for. For example, he can spin around with his sword for an extended period of time. His path is pretty random, so keep dodge rolling away from him to avoid damage. If Herc doesn't have the aura after he stops spinning, you can close in and deal a combo. Herc also has a charging bull attack where he dashes around the area head first. You can use guard to stop him in his tracks for technique points, then follow up with a combo. After enough of his HP has been depleted, Herc restores his aura while emitting a large shockwave attack. Be sure to dodge roll outside of the glowing ring to avoid damage. If you have the MP to spare, using the Sonic Blade ability while Herc's aura is down can deal decent damage and leave him dazed after the finishing move. You can also cast Stop Magic on him and deal additional hits while he's stopped. Remember that your stop spell's duration is calculated by Sora's maximum MP amount, so if you want to use this strategy, equip a magic boosting keychain like Spellbinder and accessories like Ray of Light. And that's all there is to it! Here are the key takeaways. Throw barrels to remove Herc's aura and leave him open to damage. Deal 3 or 4 hit combos, then keep your distance to wait for his next attack, and be on the lookout for when he summons his shockwave and restores his aura. Follow these tips and tricks to get this hero to zero in no time flat. And that's the end of this tutorial! If you have any advice or tips of your own, share them with us in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. And as always, you can find the best online walkthrough and guides to the Kingdom Hearts series at khguides.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.